In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a niche to drop ship in right now during the coronavirus, which not a lot of marketers are selling in. What's going on, guys? Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is absolutely having a great day and a great week. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel, and I hope each and every single one of you is safe and sound out there. So as you can see by what's in front of you guys, I'm going to be giving you guys a niche to drop ship in right now. Now, just a quick note, I did make a video about a week ago you can access that video right here if you click on that I on mobile or desktop with three niches to drop ship in right now that you can capitalize often during the coronavirus but not a lot of markers and not a lot of drop shippers are actually talking about this niche right now which we'll be getting to in just a little bit and you'll actually see why okay so guys and also I'm going to be giving you guys two products to drop ship in within this niche that are handpicked by myself that I've done my due diligence that I've done my research and validation within as well so definitely stay tuned for the entire video before we do move forward guys please do join my free Facebook group Ecom masterminds I will be leaving a link to that in the description below with all my other social media accounts and lastly guys Please do leave a huge like on this video and subscribe as well if you guys already haven't so you guys do stay updated with all of my most recent and updated content. Let's jump right into it. So guys, what niches most people are selling in right now? Okay, and again, these three niches resonate with that video I was talking about earlier. And the first one is kitchenware, okay? Baking, cooking, sanitary things within the kitchen because as a result of more and more people, you know, actually cooking and baking in general. Um, again, a lot, a lot of people are eating out. Not a lot of people are able to eat out due to not only sanitary reasons, but because of restaurants and bars and stuff like that being closed. So more and more people have resorted to actually making food home okay and a lot of people are you know getting into cooking and baking and stuff like that just as a hobby or a passion or maybe just trying a new skill out okay so that's why that is obviously doing very very well entertainment such as arts and crafts to keep the little ones busy to keep the kids occupied because not a lot of people are going to school uh, games that not only kids can play but also families can kind of play and interact with each other more since more and more families are home right now and last but not least this is a big one uh, fitness and wellness which I am selling in right now actually uh, home improvement and home workout yoga meditation you know a lot of the people who are into already uh, fitness and wellness you know those kind of gym enthusiasts um, you know, they may not be able to go to recreational centers or gyms or their massage places or physical therapy places, whatever it really may be, because they're off limits. They're close till further notice, correct? And a lot of people are probably just wanting to start to work out now that they're home. You know, maybe they wanted to start working out after, you know, the whole big New Year's resolution, but they probably fell off like a lot of people do. Um, and, you know, they're probably like, hey, why not kind of utilize this time to start getting into fitness and wellness now that I'm home, okay? So, again, if you're selling these niches, that's completely fine because I'm also selling one of these niches, like I said, the wellness and fitness niche. But this one niche that I'm about to show you guys right now, not a lot of marketers are selling products in. And the market is kind of pretty neutral to this, right? Regardless of the coronavirus pandemic going on, but it's us as dropshippers to use our market intuition, to use our market logic, to actually recognize this and still sell products in this niche because it's still very, 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 very much possible to capitalize, okay? And that is, guys, the Mother's Day niche. Yes, it still exists. And this is what people are neglecting and overlooking upon, okay? Mother's Day does exist. It is May 10th, I believe, and it is celebrated worldwide. If it is not May 10th, I do apologize. Do not quote me on there. But regardless, guys, it's still something that exists. It's still something that people buy a lot of products because of online, right? So what are the pros of selling in the Mother's Day niche? Well, malls and retails are closed until further notice. Most people or a lot of people go out, you know, to malls, you know, whether it be Aldo or Louis Vuitton or Macy's, whatever kind of their favorite store may be for, you know, their mother or their aunt or grandmother, whoever they're basically buying the present for. So, you know, that's kind of 
our job to kind of sell products online to these kind of people, right? Um, evoke emotional triggers. So these kind of products are solely an emotional buy. There's no logic use. So by selling this product and by marketing the right way, you know, you can evoke that emotional trigger. Um, love and appreciation has no price. Um, you know, people aren't going to shy out by, you know, by spending 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm not sell telling you guys to sell really high ticket items worth hundreds of dollars, but people will buy, you know, a Mother's Day gift for their mom or their aunt or grandmother or whichever female figure it may be in their life, right? Love and appreciation has no price. And especially with these stimulus checks now kicking in, people may have a little bit of a disposable income. So that's a little bit of a plus. And lastly, COVID-19 is irrelevant and is not a hindrance, meaning just because the COVID-19 pandemic is going on, that doesn't mean people will neglect giving these gifts to their mothers, aunts, and grandmothers, right? That's just not how people work. That's just not how psychology work, right? People's emotions and mental capacity is still obviously there. So what I'm saying, guys, is take advantage of this. A lot of marketers aren't realizing this because they're too caught up in mainstream demands and trends, you know, such as those three niches that I mentioned before, which is completely fine to sell in. Go ahead and capitalize off of because those niches are very evergreen. Not only you can sell products in those niches right now, but even after as well. But what a lot of people are getting or forgetting about is that Mother's Day still exists and you can capitalize on it short term. Okay. During this video right now, it is April 14th. I did plan on making this video a little bit earlier, but I got super, super, super caught up as today is also my birthday. So I just had, you know, a lot of family plans, you know, the day before and today and whatnot. So anyway, guys, point is, um, you guys still have time. You guys have a month to make sure these products get out to customers by Mother's Day, okay? And most products in the Mother's Day space are like accessories, you know, jewelry, apparel, stuff like that, impulse buys, you know, very, very kind of wow factors. And regardless, if you have the right marketing angle, you know, it should spark up that emotional trigger, right? That's what kind of it should evoke in people. So again, I see gurus and YouTubers and, you know, people in Facebook groups and forums on Reddit and stuff like that, just talking about mainly those three niches, but people are forgetting about Mother's Day and people are forgetting when I say people that marketers and dropshippers are forgetting that people are still going to want to buy stuff for the people they love for Mother's Day. Okay, guys. So yes, that is the niche that not a lot of people are talking about right now. I don't see a lot of products selling for Mother's Day right now as well. The funny thing is, or cool thing is, I should say, my Valentine's Day store, which um, you know, I was selling uh, from, uh, from about December to mid-February, obviously, or the first week of February, I'm carrying that store over and I'm reactivating for Mother's Day, right? I'm using Instagram influencers and also Facebook ads as well, right? So again, be, be, be very capable of using your market logic and market intuition at the right time, right? I'm like, hey, I already have this Valentine's Day store. I was selling the Lux Rose Bear on there. I actually made a video about it, revealing that entire blueprint and why I did so well, that specific store. But you know, that same product can carry over and I can just kind of change my content on the website, pivot it, you know, change up my marketing angle. And that 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 Lux that Lux Rose Bear can still sell for Mother's Day, right? You you can easily sell a nice rose shaped bear, uh, you know, for your mother or you know for your grandmother or your aunt, like I said, any female figure. So what I'm saying, guys, all this ties back into market logic and market intuition. Just kind of keeping up with the market and also kind of keeping up with seasonal trends like this as well. Especially because right now, not a lot of people are actually selling this because they're so caught up. And just thinking about the norms that are set by a lot of people, again, which is not wrong, but that's not kind of what you should be limiting your mind towards only. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys two products. The first product is this little necklace, uh, heart pendant necklace jewelry. I love you to the moon, Alloy Custom, you know, AliExpress titles, but it's basically like a moon shaped heart necklace for your mother. It says, I love you to the moon and back. Uh, very, very cheap to buy. Cost price is only a dollar. You can easily sell this for ten to twenty dollars on a micro branded one product store, or even a knit store that is based around jewelry and accessories and stuff like that. Um, again, can work great with Instagram influencers because it's a very impulsive buy, um, and it can also work great for Facebook as well. And our second product, this is actually something that's pretty cool. I've seen no one really sell this. It's like a personalized custom photo frame. 
It includes like a little rose right here. They do have it in blue and red. And you can, you know, include, I think, eight pictures right here because one, one blog is double status. So you can include a picture here and a picture here. So I think this is something really cool as a decorative piece, as a memorable piece. Um, and again, it's a very emotional box, something that's very cool. This is a little bit more mid-ticket, low to mid-ticket. You can buy it at about 20 to 23 bucks. I see that they have one right here, but I think actually without the rose, right? So you can probably sell either version, uh, but you can easily sell this for 2.5 to 3x more, anywhere between 40 to 50 bucks, okay? And again, these two products, not a lot of people are selling right now. Um, you know, just Mother's Day products in general, guys, but these two really caught my attention. So I wanted to share these with you guys to really start, you know, putting action out, out there, start implementing action the proper way and wherever it's really needed to capitalize from a marketer's perspective or from a marketer's viewpoint, at least. So with that being said, guys, I want to make this video very quick, very upfront, very raw. Just kind of get that information out there to you guys, okay? Just, again, be very, very alert. And again, it is not too late to start selling for Mother's Day. Most people will probably resort and buy last minute, like the last one or two weeks anyway. As long as you have your shipping and sourcing um, and logistics all in point, you should be fine, okay? So, with that being said, guys, if you guys have any comments, any questions, any concerns, please do drop them in the comments below. I will be always replying to everyone that comments below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much. I hope this was informational. I hope this was insightful and valuable and kind of really made you guys think from a whole another viewpoint as a marketer and kind of what to keep in mind, not only right now, but moving forward as well. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much once again, and I will check you guys out soon. Peace.